Welcome to Army Contracting Command's interactive JNA exchange that serves the dual purpose of facilitating JNA submissions that incorporate text and video training on formation of content to help users build a comprehensive JNA. The included text and video guidance training is intended for contracting and requiring activity personnel who prepare justification and approvals, JNAs, for other than full and open competition documents in accordance with FAR Part 6 and limited sources justification and approval, documentation in accordance with FAR Part 8405 and FAR Part 8406 of the Federal Acquisition Regulation. A JNA is required whenever a prospective contract requirement is not fully competitive for various reasons. It is a standalone document that must address all relevant information pertaining to the acquisition and can be approved at various levels. Supporting documentation may be attached. However, information contained in the documentation justifying the basis for the non-competitive action must also be included in the body of the JNA. When crafting a JNA, use concise statements for the basis of each category in the JNA document. The overall JNA content should be no more than what's required to justify the acquisition exclusive of the signature pages. Description of action. You want to specify and describe the contractual reasons for which this approval is requested. For example, is this a new contract or a modification to an existing contract? You will also need to illustrate the type of funds to be used, such as R&D, OPA, OMA, etc., and include the fiscal year. Description of supplies or services. Briefly describe the supplies and or services to be acquired. Include quantities, the period of performance, and estimated total value. It is not required to provide or include detailed specifications and equipment lists. Explain the requirement as much as possible in layman's terms, so it can be understood by non-technically oriented reviewers who may not be familiar with the requiring activity or the project. Do not overstate the significance or intent of the action with technical terminology or buzzwords. If the general description of the type of supplies and services is not plainly understood, the chances of repeated submittals or disapproval of the action are significantly increased. If the action described is a modification to an existing contract, be sure to clearly distinguish between the work covered by the basic contract and the additional work to be performed by the modification. Authority cited. Identify the statutory authority, FAR citation, and FAR title that permits other than full and open competition. For example, 10 U.S.C. 2304-C1, as implemented by FAR 63021. Only one responsible source and no other supplies or services will satisfy agency requirements. If there are applicable FAR subparagraphs that further justify use of the authority cited, identify those as well. Reason for authority cited. This is one of the most important paragraphs in the JNA. You must show why the proposed acquisition must be accomplished through other than full and open competition and why the authority in paragraph four applies. You must provide a well-reasoned, detailed discussion of the issue that will make it crystal clear to someone who has never heard of your organization or your requirement why full and open competition cannot be used for this procurement. Discuss the events, history, and circumstances which have led to the current situation that requires use of the procedures for other than full and open competition. Discuss alternatives that were available to the government, reasons why each was unacceptable except for the alternative selected, technical reasons, cost, etc., and the impact if other alternatives had been selected. Efforts to obtain competition. This section is pretty straightforward. Describe efforts made to ensure that offers are solicited from as many potential sources as possible. State how many sources were solicited and how many offers were received. You must make as many offers as possible aware of your solicitation of requirements. If the efforts were unsuccessful, so state and describe why. Actions to increase competition. 
include a statement of the actions that have been taken or will be taken to increase competition before any subsequent acquisition of the supplies or services is needed. For example, this is a one-time requirement and no future similar acquisitions are anticipated. However, if a similar requirement arises, every effort will be made to compete it to the maximum extent possible. Or, the requiring activity is currently preparing specifications that will be adequate for full and open competition on a fellow on a follow-on requirement anticipated for execution during a future fiscal year. Market research will be performed for the follow-on requirement to identify all potential sources. Market research. Describe the extent of the market research conducted to identify all qualified sources and the results of that research. Market research is the collection and analysis of current information about capabilities within the marketplace to satisfy agency needs. The intent of market research is to create or increase competition by locating and ensuring that all interested and capable sources are given the opportunity to compete for the goods and services to satisfy our minimum requirements. Competition should help the government receive the best value for its money. This testing of the marketplace may range from online research, written documentation, or telephone contacts with knowledgeable federal and non-federal federal experts regarding similar or duplicate requirements, which may include results of any market tests recently completed. Market research should be accomplished in a timely manner, preferably early in the acquisition process, prior to preparation of the JNA and acquisition plan. It should be tailored as appropriate to the goods or services being acquired. Prior to contracting any potential sources, the requiring activity should discuss the proposed market research plan with the contracting officer to avoid any possible unauthorized vendor contacts or an inadvertent release of advanced acquisition information. Interested sources. You must include a full list of offerers that expressed written interest in the acquisition and provide explanations for those that were rejected. A pre-solicitation notice should be issued early in the process. Information received should be analyzed to determine the validity of the sole source JNA action. If applicable, clearly state. To date, no other sources have expressed an interest in writing. Also state that the notices required by FAR 5201 shall be or have been published and any bids or proposals received shall be considered. If a Fed Biz Ops notice will not be published, state which exception in FAR 5202 applies. Other facts. In this section, you want to discuss any factors to support not using full and open competition. Provide data, costs, past contract or prior award information if applicable. The main purpose of this section is to add any information that could not be illustrated elsewhere. 